Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Group. Good evening. What destroys a good man is power. Power behaves like alcohol. When you take a lot of it, it controls you instead of you controlling it. And the reason why a man in power need advisors is because when power gets into the head of the man advisors must say no 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 don't go there we are seeing with our eyes exactly what is happening and i don't understand the reason why the president has advisors but no one is telling him the right thing to do. The president has traveled to Israel. Look at his delegation. Just look at how many people that followed the president to Israel. In the first place, you ask yourself, what is there in Israel? what can israel do for the people of zambia what has israel done to any african country ever there is nothing that israel is going to offer the people of zambia or offer africa these guys don't love africa these are like america uk france they don't love africa they there is absolutely nothing that these guys will bring to africa so why is the president traveling with such a number of people when his own country is going through financial crisis just today the fear has been increased who are the people suffering the poor people that voted for him the poor people that we convinced to vote for the president are suffering why these guys are flying up and down? Just look at the delegation. Count the people that followed the president to Israel. What are they doing in Israel? I mean, the president has refused to visit China, a country that can help Zambia out of what they are going through now. And the president has taken, look, please, where are the advisors of this president what are they doing it's like these guys have been disconnected totally from reality people are going through hell and they are going to israel with 20 30 people even eddie galungu we know as a waste as a wasteful president didn't behave like this what is there in Israel? There is nothing there in Israel. The president abandoned powerful traditional ceremony going on in the in the country and went to Israel. The Catholic was celebrating hundred years of existence in I think in eastern province or, or where or, or Lawapula. The president abandoned them. He didn't attend. The Catholic program, a powerful program, 100 years old program, 
The president left it. President has run to Israel with his wife and all this bloated. How many people followed the wife? The secretaries, the families. How many people followed the president privately? All these people that are here, how many people followed them privately? Who is paying for this? Is it not the, is it not the people of Zambia? People of Zambia that are going through hell. President refused to embrace the Catholic. The Catholic that fought for him. He abandoned them. He refused to attend their program and they flew to Israel. What is he doing in Israel? What is there in Israel? Where are the advisors of the president? Who are the people that are leading this president? Who are the people that are giving him advice? Completely detached from reality. A serious traditional ceremony was going on. The president did not go. Catholic in Zambia was having a great occasion. The president did not go. But the president went to Ghana to go and uh, have church service with SDA. I mean, come on. What is wrong? What is going on? What has happened? What is SDA? SDA that when a church was going through hell, they didn't open their mouth and say any single word. Now they invited the president in Ghana. The president went to church, SDA church in Ghana. Spent taxpayers' money, carried a bloated delegate to Ghana, wasted millions upon millions upon millions. Why people of Zambians are suffering? If SDA is that important, where were they when he was in opposition? The Catholic that fought for him at the look. I, I think even the president himself, I think he has given up. He doesn't want to rule, rule the country again. He doesn't care. And uh, we shall help him. We shall help him. Because really, I don't understand what is going on. We are a relationship between, uh, between him and the Catholic is rotten. He cannot even try to mend it. He cannot even try to see what he can do. An opportunity presented himself to go very close to these guys and put this in order. He didn't go. He flew to Ghana to go and attend SDA service. SDA does not campaign. SDA does not care about people. They don't do politics. It is Catholic that does politics. Because they stand for the people. And now the president has gone to Israel. What is the president doing in Israel with this amount? Look at the people. We condemn the Digalungu for all these travels. What has happened to President HH? Eh? What has happened to him? Why is he flying like a bird, always on the air? You think that people are mad? It's just that the opposition in Zambia is not yet organized. If not, by this time, this guy should be packing because, really, everything we condemned Edgar Lung about, he has done it. He has done it 100 over. And in 2025, we are going to start pointing them one by one so that those people who don't understand will understand. Opposition in Zambia just need a voice, just one voice that will be able to point this thing to people. Fuel is increased. I mean, people of Zambia are suffering. Poor people cannot afford food. You are, they are busy destroying people's businesses, leave the street, leave the street, and you are increasing the fuel. How do you want them to survive? Government is about to destroy people's businesses in Comesa. How do you want them to survive? In an economy that is dying, a president is flying 
every minute is on the air and the people that are advising you will not tell him sir this is not good people are crying on the ground the situation at state house is different from the situation where you are this is happening because the people that are supposed to advise the president are not advising him he has him the people that fought the people that understand the cry of the people in the street are nowhere near the president he has embraced his rich friends his educated friends those guys that has never stepped foot in missis those guys that have never stepped foot on the street those are the people advising the president those guys that like flying that are used to flying that's why the president is flying if not a campaign we seriously campaign against this type of wastage look at the the delegate that have followed the president to israel i mean the whole country of all of all the countries israel what is israel who is israel what what is israel going to offer africa they are struggling themselves there is chaos in Israel as I'm talking to you today. They are protesting. He left China and went to Israel. So what is he coming back with? Who are the people advising the president? You must know that you can continue flying. But once you are out of power, you are going to be accountable for all this wastage. All this money that you are, you are wasting all this flying up and down that you are flying you account for it calculate how many millions that this group have have flown to to israel with how many households was he going to feed is he going to feed in zambia who are the people advising the president they must sit him down in fact he must change his advisors they are not doing any good to him even when you go to the page of the president you understand that th that page is is i think the owner or the person running it is not from zambia because it's totally away from reality he doesn't understand what is going on we love this president we campaign for him we still love him but he has gone astray the president has missed it he has gone astray 100 percent you can be a press singer singing foolishly <laughs> you don't know what you are doing the president has gone astray this is not the president that we knew who was condemning edgar longo's flying how many trips has this president made what is the result how many investment have come into zambia all of all these trips that the, this the president hh is holding the the flag as the most the most he lives on air what has the people of zambia benefited nothing as we speak today the people that are coming to take over the minds of zambia are the same people that pf chased away because of the way they were treating the people so where is the fruit of all this traveling not just traveling but traveling with all this delegation all these guys are going to get allowances for traveling some traveled with their family the president traveled with his family how many millions is this going to cost the people of zambia and how much is this trip going to yield to the people of zambia can the president sit down and think about where he's coming from the people of zambia do not deserve this and i can assure you that come 2025 we are not going to have mercy on this president we are going to mess him up badly because he has he has completely changed he has changed look at the delegation even you as a prayer singer you are a blind man you don't understand anything look at the delegation that followed the president to israel what are they doing in israel this is dj mutati exclusive Savage. all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below 
Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.